Thank you, Lord. Praise when you God. go to the altar at, at church, there's an exchange. There's, an exchange. there's supposed to be an exchange. Mm. Some altars in churches are not lit. Okay? They don't have no fire on them. Mm. That's the way. That's just, it, it's just Where like that. That's just the way it is. Some altars don't have fire. Some altars are not lit in the realm of the spirit. So, um, keep the fire burning. You got to keep the fire burning. burning. You can't desecrate God's altar. Mm -hmm. You can't bring the, 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 the world, the flesh and the devil. You can't bring that into, into, um, on the altar. Never let the fire burn down. Mm -hmm. That's what the scriptures instructions is. Uh -huh. Never let the fire burn down. Mm -hmm. Because if it, once the fire burn down, then the enemy can just just, just come right in and come step, right in. step he, right across. It, it, don't, it don't have to burn all the way down. It can just get down low and uh -huh. then he can just step it's right across. Step right across it. Praise mm -hmm. God. But if, if the fire keep burning and it stays high, and then that keeps the enemy away. Mm -hmm. It's a protection. The yes, fire is, is a protection. Mm -hmm. Even in the natural realm. Yes. If you got fire around you, you ain't, ain't, nothing, ain't nothing coming up on that. No. Praise God. But First Kings 11 chapter, starting from the first verse. What is that? He said, now King Solomon loved many foreign women. He did? He loved many foreign women. Wonder where he got that Praise from. It's, go ahead. It, there you go. Mm -hmm. Beside Pharaoh's daughter. He married women from Moab. Oh. Ammon, mm -hmm. Edom, yeah. Sidon, mm -hmm. and from among the Hittites. The Lord had clearly instructed the people of Israel, clearly instructed the people of Israel and Solomon the king, mm -hmm. who must not marry them because they will turn your hearts to their God. To their they God. will do what? Turn your hearts to their God. They will turn God. your hearts to your God. See that? It, Solomon operated from one altar. Now, God tell him not to marry these women because they got another altar, praise God. And God knew, he said, because they will turn your heart. Mm -hmm. See, it's altar, praise God, a light and altars of darkness, praise God. And altars, they all carry power, mm -hmm. whether they're the righteous altar or the evil altar. Mm -hmm. They all carry power, praise God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Because they will turn your hearts to their gods. Mm -hmm. Yet Solomon insisted on loving them anyway. So Solomon insisted. I, I don't care. I, I refuse to pay attention. I refuse to follow the instructions of God. I, I like these women. Mm -hmm. And that's what we do. We refuse to follow the instructions of God in things. And that's why we fall short. That's why we fall short in a lot of areas. In a lot of places in our lives. Because we do just what Solomon did. Solomon refused to follow the clear instructions that God gave him mm -hmm. and, and the people of Israel. Mm -hmm. And now we doing exactly the same thing. Mm -hmm. We refuse to follow the clear instructions through God's word. Mm -hmm. Praise God. He, he had 700 wives, mm -hmm. a royal birth, and 300 concubines. Mm -hmm. In fact, they did turn his heart away from the Lord. How in the world? It's, that altar. Right. Their altars. Their altars. Turned his heart. Away from the Lord. My God. That's why God warned him. That's right. Don't do this. He warned him. Yeah. See, God know. Mm -hmm. Praise God. We should understand what the scripture said. If we read it in the scripture, praise God. God know, praise God. He giving us a heads up. He gave Solomon a heads up. Mm -hmm. He said, because there, those women is going to turn your heart. Mm hmm Mm -hmm. Why? Because Solomon was going to try to please them. Yeah. He was going to try to please his wife. What was the power mm. that was pulling Solomon? Their altars. Their altars. The altar of Molech. Molech. The altar of the Sidonians. Right. All of these different Moab. That, what, what was Ammon. Uh -huh. Edom. Sidon. Uh -huh. From among the Hittites. All the altars. These pulling Canaanite them. altars. Canaanite altars. Okay. Praise God. That's the same altars that the great, great, great grandmother. Worship in, Worship in Canaan. The same altar, praise God. The, the altar of perversion. Mm. The altar of prostitution. Praise God. All of these altars that they worship. Praise God. He said, in fight, they did turn his heart. Wow. In fight, praise God. If we don't follow God's instruction, our heart's going to be turned. Mm. Our heart's going to be turned if we don't follow the word of God. Mm -hmm. He said, in Solomon's old age, they turned his heart to worship other gods. Mm. Instead of being completely faithful to the Lord as God. Mm -hmm. 
They turned this hard. My God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. It is old age mm -hmm. of being completely faithful to the Lord as God and his father David had been. Solomon worshiped Asherah, the goddess of the Sidonians, and Molech, the detestable god of the Ammonites. Did you say the goddess? The goddess. Stick a pin in that. The goddess. The goddess. Mm -hmm. Of the Sidonians mm -hmm. and Molech, the detestable god of the Ammonites. Mm -hmm. And this way Solomon did what was evil in the sight of the Lord and refused to follow the Lord completely as his father David had done. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Now, Lord, Solomon constantly going the way he want to go. Yeah. And that's what we're doing today. We want to do what we want to do. Right. We want to set God agenda. To the side. Yeah, because we want to do it. We want to do what we want to do. So when God say come all the way out uh -huh. of the world. Out of You it. know what we say? What we say. I'm going to come halfway out. Halfway out. Because I want to hold on to the idols. Mm. I want to hold on to the things that I like. Mm. I want to hold on to the things that I enjoy mm. of the world. Mm. So we enjoy those things in the world. And those are the things that we don't want to let right. go. And won't let go. Mm. So what the, So what those authors did. Mm-hmm. Don't ought to seduce yes. Solomon. Solomon. They seduce Praise him. Because the women were seductive. Yep. Because of the altars. Mm -hmm. Because of the spirits. Because of the spirits. Praise God. That was that was in covenant with those altars, praise God. Mm -hmm. And it's they seduced Solomon. Mm -hmm. Praise God to nothing. To nothing. Praise God to well, nothing. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Praise God. And on the mount out of east of Jerusalem, he even built Pagan shrines for Chemosh, the detestable god of oh, Chemosh, the detestable god of Moab, mm -hmm. and another for Molech, the detestable god of Ammonites. Mm -hmm. Solomon built such shrines for all his foreign wives. He did. Yes, Go he ahead. did. Mm -hmm. And even so, I will not 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 he's not. I, I got to read it all. Read the it. Lord was very angry with Solomon. Why? Praise God, for his heart had turned away from the Lord. Mm. That's why God, like God angry with us. Right. When, when our hearts turn away from God, mm -hmm. when we refuse to worship God, when we, serve, when we refuse to follow him, mm -hmm. the Lord was angry with him. Mm -hmm. Why? Because he, his heart was turned away from the Lord. The God of Israel had appeared to him twice. Mm -hmm. He had warned Solomon specifically about worshiping other gods. Mm -hmm. But Solomon did not listen. So now, the Lord said to him, since you have not kept my covenant, we have disobeyed my decrees. I'm going to drop on down to the 13th verse. Mm -hmm. And even so, I will not take away the entire kingdom. Mm -hmm. I will let him be king of one tribe mm -hmm. for the sake of my servant David mm -hmm. and for the sake of Jerusalem, my chosen city. Yeah. For the sake of David, praise uh -huh. God. Mm -hmm. He said, I'm going to strip the kingdom. I'm going to strip the kingdom from uh Solomon, mm -hmm. praise God, but because of David, praise God, I'm going to leave him one, mm -hmm. praise God, the 29th verse, and, and one day at Jeroboam was leaving Jerusalem, the prophet Ahijah from Shiloh met him along the way, Ahijah was wearing a new cloak, the two of them were alone in the field, and Ahijah took hold of the new cloak he was wearing and tore it into two, 12 pieces, mm -hmm. then he said to Jeroboam, Take ten of these pieces, for this is what the Lord, the God of Israel says. Mm -hmm. I am about to tear the kingdom from the hand of Solomon, mm. and I will give ten of the tribes to you. Mm -hmm. But I will leave him one. Because of who? Because of David, my mm -hmm. servant David, for the sake of David. Mm -hmm. Jerusalem have chosen out of all the tribe of Israel. Mm -hmm. For Solomon had abandoned mm -hmm. me and worshipped Asterisk, yep. the goddess. He did what? He, he abandoned who? God. He ab Solomon abandoned God. Yes. And worshiped the Asherah pole. The Asherah pole. He, he worshiped Asherah. The goddess. The goddess. Uh, the same goddess mm. that his great 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 grandmother mm -hmm. worshiped. Worship. See? But, okay, go ahead. I don't want to get ahead of myself. Sid Sidonia. Chemosh, the god of Moab. Mm -hmm. Molech, the god of Ammonite. 
He has not followed my ways or done what is pleasing in my sight. He has not obeyed my decrees and regulations as David his father did. But I would not take the entire kingdom from Solomon at this time mm -hmm. for the sake of my servant David, the one whom I chose, who obeyed my commands and decrees. I would keep Solomon as leader of the rest of his life. Mm -hmm. But I would take the kingdom away from his son. Notice, praise God. He said, I would take the kingdom mm -hmm. away from his son, praise God. Mm -hmm. So God didn't do it in Solomon's time. So that thing passed right on. Into the next generation mm -hmm. with his son. With his son. He said, I do it then. I do it So, then. what Solomon did will affect his son. It affected affect his son. Yeah. Praise mm -hmm. God. Hallelujah. Praise mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. We're going to clarify that. Okay, go back. Start Exodus 20. What is that? Praise God. From 1 to the 5th verse. Okay, go ahead. He said, I am the Lord your God uh -huh. who rescued you from the land of Egypt, the place of your slavery or bondage. Okay. You must not have any other God but me. Mm -hmm. You must not make for yourself an idol of any kind of image of anything in the heavens or on earth. No image in the heavens, mm -hmm. no image in the earth. No image in the sea. Come on. Three places. Three places. Three places. Three levels. Three places. Three jurisdictions yeah. that God telling you about. Uh -huh. Not in heaven. Uh huh. Not that realm. Not that. Not in that realm. Uh -huh. Not in earth. Not in that and realm. Under the sea. Not in that realm. In the sea. Don't make them. So it's altars. Altars in it's the sea. In the sea. They in the sea. In the rivers. In the in river. the water. Yes. Place. It's altars in the sea. Place, yes, God. and they're affecting. They're affecting what's going on up on the earth. On the earth. Okay, come on. In the heavens. Uh huh. Affecting what's going on in the earth. Uh huh. In the earth, what's uh -huh. what's going on in the earth? Okay. In the sea, mm -hmm. the altars in the sea affect what's going on in the earth. Yes. Praise God. You must not bow down to them mm -hmm. or worship them, mm -hmm. for I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God. Okay. He jealous. Mm -hmm. God who will not tolerate your affection. For any other God. No. He jealous. Yes. He telling you, praise God. I'm going to deal with you. I'm going to deal praise with you. Praise God. Uh -huh. If you start looking at somebody somebody else. Yeah. I'm going to deal with I'm you. I'm going to deal with you. He said, why? He said, because I'm telling you, I'm jealous. Uh -huh. I'm jealous, Jay. Right. So don't play with me. Uh -huh. I'm jealous. Uh -huh. So don't look at no other God. Uh -huh. Don't worship no other God. Uh -huh. Don't buy it out of no other God. Uh -huh. Because I'm jealous. It, you're going to pay for it. You're going to pay for it. Some way or another, you're going to pay for yeah. it. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tolerate your figure. I laid this sin. Of the, I laid the sins of the parents upon their children. Mm. The entire family is affected. Mm -hmm. Even the children in the third and the fourth generation of those who rejected me. So that what happened to Solomon's son? Yeah. What his daddy did affected, affected him. Affected him. What his father did affected, affected him. Did. He said, I'm going to get it. I'm going to wait. I'm going to let you live your life out. Uh -huh. He said, but when your son take the I'm reins, gonna get it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get it. Yeah. I'm going to strip him. Mm -hmm. Praise God. But I owe my secular shot. Thank you, Lord. So Thank you, Jesus. No It's It so we only have one tribe mm -hmm. so that the sinners of David, my servant, will continue to reign, shining like a lamp in Jerusalem, praise God. Mm -hmm. Shining like a lamp. So what David did is shine like a lamp, praise God, and nothing can put it out. My God. Nothing can put that light out that David, when he started walking in the will of God, mm -hmm. in the power of God, nothing can put that lamp out. Praise God. Hallelujah. The city I have chosen to be the place for my name. And I will place you on the throne of Israel. And you will rule over all that you desire. You have listened to what I have told you. Follow my ways and do whatever I consider to be right. And if you obey my de decrees and command my servant David as my servant David did. Then I will always be with you. Mm -hmm. I will establish an enduring dynasty for you as I did for your father. Mm -hmm. I will give Israel to you because Solomon said, I will punish the descendants of David, though not forever. Mm -hmm. Not forever, but I will punish them. Mm -hmm. Praise God. I will punish them, praise God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. The sensuality, uh -huh. the sexuality and the sensuality. If you have kids, you might not want to let them listen to this, all right, because we got some pictures to show. But um, last week we was telling you about, I wanted to do a little, maybe a little short recap. 
I made the little picture a little smaller. Hmm. Um, what I was trying to show you, um, the that the goddess hmm. that um, uh, Rahab. Rahab was a prostitute, and this is the goddess of Asherah. This is the this is the demon spirit that the Canaanites worship. They also worship the Baals. Hmm. Okay. And when 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 uh, 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 Rahab was a rich, she was a prostitute, and her house was on the wall. I believe it's the Bible says her house was on the wall. Mm. But David suffered from the things that the grandmother did. Not mm. only did David suffer from the things that the grand, the great 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 grandmother did, mm. Solomon suffered from the the, the things that uh, uh, that was in the bloodline as it relates to the altars. Nothing happens in this earth without an altar. When you get saved, where do you go? To the altar, altar, okay? Not necessarily in a church. You can get saved anywhere. But it's the <coughs> altar of the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus became the, 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 the sacrifice for us. And that is the altar that we bow to as Christians. Mm. And this is the deity that they worship. See the breast exposed? Mm. I was telling you last week about how the, that we mimic. That this culture right now is mimicking the same thing. In Ecclesiastes uh, 1 verse 9 and 10 let me tell you let me show you what it say so it that's is, so this seduction that's seduction that's what it's is 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 supposed this seduction to, yeah mm -hmm. that's what it is yeah. seduction uh -huh. that's what it's supposed to do praise god to uh -huh. seduce us yeah men yeah. and women men and men and women not just men uh -uh. but it's, it's to seduce you. To seduce you into Praise sexual God. perversion. Sexual perversion. Yes. And that's what Praise they did God. back in those days. They had Thank all kinds of sexual orgies and everything like that. And you see that the breasts are exposed. Yeah. That's you a, see that? This is what we do today. This is a, what we do. Right. We expose ourselves to the world. We mm. expose ourselves. You can look at people's timelines. They're coming down the timeline mm. and they all posted up. And all you see is that goddess. When you see women mm. coming down the timeline looking like this right here, they are obeying this goddess. Mm. They are worshiping this goddess. Mm. This goddess is a part of their uh, allegiance mm. uh, to the Lord Jesus Christ. They say they love Jesus. They want God in their heart. And, 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 um, but they have not come all the way out of the world. The, the stain of the world mm. is still on them. And the fruit of it shows. So because the, fruit don't lie. Right. Fruit tell the truth on you. So fruit the, don't tell lies. So the God is. Uh -huh. this, this God is in the spirit realm. This is in the spiritual realm. But it that need you a can't person. See, but it need a person. It need a body. That's good. To manifest to itself. To manifest itself. To express itself. To express so itself. So that's what it do. That's it. It's that's a, expressing itself. Yeah. In the, in, in the body. In the body. Yeah. In the earth. In the earth. But it's in the spirit realm. Yeah, but it's in the so spirit realm. So it got to get in the natural realm. Uh -huh. Now how it going to get in the natural realm? It's got to get in the body. It got to get in the body. It got to get in a man. Oh, or no. it got to get in a woman. To express to itself. Express itself. Right. Praise God. Itself. Because that's in the that's in the unseen realm. That's in the unseen realm. Praise God. That's in the unseen in the heaven. In the heaven. That's in the heaven. That's in the heaven. Praise God. Uh huh. That's what we just read. That's in the heaven, in the earth, and under the sea. Uh huh. See. Praise God. This is a picture of uh, Beyonce. That's the goddess. She worships that thing. This is what she does. Mm. She worships that goddess. That is nothing but that modern day Asherah pole. That's the Asherah that she worships. Mm. That's what that is. Asherah. Oh, modern day Asherah. That's what it mm. is. See it? See the headdress? Mm. Everything is right there. They're showing the comparison right mm. there of what she worships. Mm. And so when, when these people are influencers... They mm. have huge platforms and they influence the masses. They influence Christians. Mm. These people influence Christians. That's the goddess. This is the goddess. This is the thing that is expressing itself. This is the thing that is in the realm of the spirit. That's showing itself in the spiritual realm. Mm. Okay, but this is the manifestation of it. Let me get you another picture. That's the, that's the seduction. That's the seduction. That's the seduction. Yep. That's it's the, in the spirit realm. That's in the spirit realm. It's in the heaven. Uh -huh, but it's manifesting itself in the natural realm. So she realm. gotta do something to get. She gotta do something to get this. Yes. The head. That head. Uh, thing the head gear. The head gear. Uh huh. She had to do something to be able to know. The way that, the and no way. that. yeah. It had she to had to go just spirit. like we. Uh -huh. She had to go in the spirit realm. Yes. 
and to get there. To get there. To find to find that out. out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See, it looked just like that in the spirit realm. That's how. I that's how she knew. That's how she. She know. went in the spirit she realm to get that realm. outfit. Uh huh. That headgear. Mm-hmm. Praise and that's what we have to do. We have to go in the spirit realm. Uh huh. In God, in God realm. Uh huh. And get the intelligence that that He want to give us to dethrone it. To dethrone Asherah. Asherah. Get Asherah out of your life. Out of your life, praise Get the God. influence of Asherah out of your life. You see? We'll keep showing these. That is not the <coughs> proper attire for a Christian in any in any venue, mm-hmm. in any setting. Even when you're out with your husband, you shouldn't show your nakedness. But this is the influence of the spirit of Asherah. And Baal. And, and, and Baal. This is the influence. When you see this, that spirit is at work. It is expressing itself witchcraft. in the body. Sorcery. This is nothing but the witchcraft sorcery system that they all participate in. The manipulation. See, this is the goddess right here. That's it. Right here. That This is the one in the spirit, and this is the manifestation in the natural mm, realm. There you go. You see it? Yeah. This is the manifestation in the spirit, mm. and this is the manifestation... In the natural realm. Mm. We are daughters of Zion. Mm. The Bible say we are married to God. We are we are his bride. So the goddess is the one that want to dress like this. The, the, the goddess want to show so herself. So they got to find a person. They got to find a person. In order that they can use. That they can use. They're like the Holy Spirit. Uh-huh. The Holy Spirit got to find a person that he can use in right. that earth that will express him. Yes. Praise God. Uh-huh. That will demonstrate the things that he desires. Right. Exactly. Mm. All right, all right. Let me show you somebody God. else that they, they, they that, that, that. Uh, but this is what we're doing. You see the goddess. You see the breast exposing. You see the breast. The Bible says, "Have nothing to do with the unfruitful works of darkness, mm. but rather expose it." Mm. You see, that's the one in the spiritual realm. Mm. That's the one in the yeah. spiritual realm, mm. and this is the one in the natural realm. Mm. You see? You see that? You see the different shapes uh-huh. and the different styles that this spirit like. Yes. Huh? Uh huh. They dress differently. See, see, th- this is not for a Christian person to to portray. Mm. I should. We shouldn't have to. We shouldn't have to see this. The Lord shouldn't have to see his daughters dressing like this. But some of us, we do dress like this because we still are attached to that Asherah pole. Mm. That Asherah pole is expressing itself from the spiritual realm. What, so what, what will pull you to watch this? Asherah. What will pull you to watch her perform? Asherah. 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 So something, that's pulling you. That's, that altar. That altar is pulling huh. us. To watch so somebody you're attached, perform like you're attached, you're to, attached to this in the spiritual realm. Yeah, in the spirit realm. Right. You're attached to it in the spirit Praise realm. Praise God. And it manifests itself in the earth. And it manifests in the earth. itself in the earth. In the natural realm. Mm, okay. Goodness. And see. Uh-huh. Look. You see that? That's the Asher. That's the That's work. the Asher report. But they're doing what they're supposed to do. Right. This is what they they're are supposed to do. Mm. They're supposed to influence the masses. That's the reason why they dress this way so that they can influence you. They are influencing Christian women. Mm. We're doing this stuff. Mm. This is the way we, we walk around looking like this. This is the very thing God warned Solomon. This is what God warned Solomon about. The turn, he said the these, seduction. These ladies. The sensuality. They're going to turn these you away. Ladies, they're going to turn you away from the heart of God. You remember Baal? The, the, that deity Baal in the in the in the in the in, in the uh, that uh, um, Rahab worship. You remember Baal and the Asherah pole? <clears throat> excuse me. That was right next to it. Okay. In the spiritual realm, I don't know if you can see it, but you see it is the. Uh, it looked like a um, sexual organ. I'm trying to be diplomatic. It looked like a private part. These are the things they built in the grove back in that day. Mm-hmm. But these are the things that people are worshiping right now and they don't know it. These Not things have it. spiritual connotations. Right. These spirit has spiritual connections. And the Lord is saying, see, Baal, 
Baal, <coughs> Baal, however you want to say it, Baal, okay, is the God that he calls himself El. El. El God, like El Shaddai. Mm. All he do is copy God. Right. So he called himself Baal, the God of fertility, <laughs> the God of rain, the God of all of these different things, of wealth and all of that. So he mimics and know what he is? In the realm of the spirit, Baal is the is the God of covenants mm. and sacrifices. Mm. And this is what this spirit is trying to get us to do. Mm. This thing is trying to pull us away from Jehovah. Mm. So the Asherah pole that's connected to this thing mm. in the realm of the spirit, its number one goal is to pull you out of the presence, like. to pull you away from God, mm. to pull you away from the Bible, to pull you away from prayer. And as long as you are influenced by these things, the fire is not in your life. Like he did the smartest man in the world. Like he did Solomon. King Solomon. They and pulled him away from pulled God. Away from God. And like he did to the man that was after God's oh own heart. God. It was because of those altars. Now how could he do that? Now, I don't know how he did the how, altar. How could, how could that happen? Mm -hmm. Somebody got their heart after God. But right. yet still pulled away to kill somebody. <clears throat> and to murder somebody. And to take somebody away. Uh -huh. And here's another picture. Of it, I don't know if you can see the writing on it, but there's another yeah. picture of it right there. I don't know if you can see what it well, looks like. It me. looks like an organ. It looks like a sexual organ here. <coughs> see, and these are the things that are in the realm of the spirit that you don't know. These are altars set up in the spiritual realm. Mm -hmm. These are in realms. Mm -hmm. The spiritual world is realms. And these things are set up in the realms. Mm. And these are the things that we are constantly worshiping and going after. Mm. My God. Get one of the mother. Which one? No, the Her? one about the one. Get that one. This one? Yeah. Pull it. Pull it. You see that? Yeah. What Christian? What Christian woman should be out? I don't care if you with your husband. You're going to call men to lust after you. Women mm. too. Mm. But this is the goddess of That's Asherah. That's the goddess. This is Asherah at work. And guess. This is the outworkings of this spirit. This, this is the outworking of this spirit right okay. here. Oh, yeah. This is the outworking of this you spirit right here. Praise God. Y'all see that? Now, what's the aim? What's the aim? The aim mm -hmm. is, is the aim is at your little girl. Yeah. That's the aim. Mm -hmm. and your, 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 little, your daughter. Your daughter, 10 year old. 12. 12 year old. 17. 17. That's 15, the aim. 15. That's the aim. 25. To get them to come into a covenant with them. 35. Through this junk. 45. Through this 50, 45. 55. This the aim. 55. This the aim that caused trouble in your marriage. Yes, this is what's going to cause the trouble to come. That's what's going to cause the trouble you to come. You out having a nice meal. Asher. And when you out having a nice meal with your husband, and you got to sit across from the table and look at that. That is... Uh, now it's, it's, it, it, Christian women, we shouldn't do this. This is not what God called us to do. But these people, they influence the masses. This is the thing behind the scenes behind. that is influencing this. That's right. This is the demon spirit behind mm. the scenes that's influencing her to dress seductively that's a, this that, way. In the natural realm, uh -huh. in the spirit realm, the man or the woman can't see it. But that's a trap. It's a trap. It's a trap. Uh huh. To seduce you. To seduce you. Seduce you, praise God. Right. To inject something in your mind. Right. A thought in uh -huh. your mind. A thought. In your mind. Uh huh. And for that that thought to take that thought to take residence. Uh huh. And you begin to you begin to feed on it. Yes. And begin to think about. It. Now you don't left the. You, <coughs> excuse me. You don't left the restaurant. Uh huh. You riding down the road, going back home with your wife, uh -huh. but that thought, that that thing, image, still left, it that image. picture still in your mind. Yeah, when you was out with your wife. Yeah, yeah. Same thing the videos do. Uh huh. That's the image. Uh huh. That's the powerful image of Asher. Yes. And Baal mm -hmm. to take control to do show kid the, in eighth grade. Mm hmm. They full of lust. Mm -hmm. Fifth grade, they full of lust. I was in the, the store last night, mm -hmm. and I seen a girl, and 
she was she was very young okay she was very young mm. and um she had all of this out she had on shorts where you could see the, her butt cheeks and she had her stomach exposed where you could see her belly ring so i'm standing in the line and my heart goes out to her and i asked i said how old are you and she said i'm 15 and i said where is your mother she said she in the car she in the car that's what her mama teaching her that it's okay to look like this this mm. is this is what you're presenting to a dying world mm. this is what we present to a dying world what they present mm. christian women shouldn't look like them we shouldn't look like them we are daughters of zion we shouldn't look like them my god but they're doing what they're supposed to do. But they're doing what they're supposed they, to do. They are, they are evangelists. They're prophets. Mm -hmm. And they teach us, praise God. Uh -huh. They're going out just like we go out. Mm -hmm. We go out to try to win souls. They're going out to try to pull souls, souls into darkness. Into darkness. Yes. They're going out trying to pull souls and into did, darkness. Into darkness. God. And what did we tell you? Satan is the <laughs> prince of what? Darkness. And darkness. what does darkness mean? Darkness means ignorance. Mm. Satan is a prince of our ignorance. Mm, mm. He rules over us through ignorance. Thank he you, gets Jesus. an advantage over us through our ignorance. He mm. is the prince of ignorance. Mm. He is darkness, the prince of the power of the air. He is the prince of ignorance. Of so ignorance. if he can keep us ignorant to Thank these, God. listen, if he can keep us ignorant to the spirit world. Yes, sir, that don't mean that. If he can keep us ignorant to, the, to that, look at the middle part right here. I showed it to you last week. This is what, look, 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 look what is exposed. It's exposed in the spiritual realm. And this is what is being exposed in the natural in realm. In the natural realm. We, should, we are daughters of Zion. Remember I told you about Baal. The, 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 that demon spirit of Baal. Okay. Now Baal. Uh-huh. Uh, 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 uh. See that? You see that? The man is pointing to it. Mm-hmm. He's showing you what was in the groves. Mm. Okay. Back in, in the day. He's showing you. This is the stuff that he found. Out in the wilderness. This man found that. That a tree. That has been constructed. Go back and watch the Shape. first video. Shape. And, and, and it will go over some stuff that we already uncovered. That we don't have time to revisit right now. But go back and see where these groves. Where they, they put these things in the shape of trees. Mm -hmm. Okay? In the shape of trees. Like this goddess. You gotta pull it over. See? Like this goddess. Yeah. Alright? This is what we're dealing with from the realm of the spirit. This is it. And Baal, like I told you, he's supposedly to be the god of covenant. He's supposedly to be the god to be the god of marriage. Well, his main focus, this is his main focus, Baal. Baal is to pull us out of the presence. Is to get us to divorce our father. Get us to divorce our 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 uh, divorce the Lord. Because if you do these things, God gonna back up. He said he's not gonna tolerate idol worship. But these are the sensual gods mm. that we are still worshiping today. today. But it's in the realm of the spirit. If mm. you do not understand the realm of the spirit, you're going to be a needless casualty of war a if war. you do not understand the Praise spiritual God. realm we have to learn about the spiritual realm you know why because the bible is a spiritual book mm. and we have to be able to discern and the holy spirit give us revelation on what's going on in the spiritual realm mm. because if you don't know what's going on in the spiritual realm you're not going to be able to make it in the natural realm you mm. have to know what's going on in the spirit that's why the yeah. lord showed us these yeah. things right here yeah. he said the altar deal with the altar Deal with the altar. Deal with the altar. Guess what you're looking at, babe? What? You're not, you're not, you're not, you're looking at that spirit. Uh-huh. That spirit that take, that spirit that took form. Uh-huh. In the natural realm. Yeah. With those pictures, mm -hmm. the spirit that took form because it found a place. A place. Where it can rest. It, it can rest. It can rest. Uh-huh. And it can manifest itself. It uh -huh. can speak. It can speak. It has a voice it's now. It's speaking now. It's speaking now. It's speaking. Praise God. This, this, this. In the spirit realm. Yes. But one of those other pictures. Uh -huh. That's in the, what one of the other pictures. 
That's in the natural. That's the manifestation See, that's, that's of the this. manifestation. This is the manifestation and, of and this. It's speaking. It's speaking to you. It's speaking to you. Uh -huh. It's calling you. Yes. Mm -hmm. It comes out of the spirit realm uh -huh. into a available body. body. She makes herself available. And her main goal is seduction. Is to seduce women and men to what? Sexual perversion. Perversion. That's what this is. This has no place in the life of a Christian. No place, no place. in the life of a Christian. None whatsoever. I'm not going to go out with my husband and show you. My, I'm not going to show you my nakedness. I'm mm. not going to do that. Mm. You know why? Because I have a respect for my husband. Mm. But the, my first respect is to the Lord Jesus Christ. My second honor and res my second respect is to myself. Mm. I have too much respect for myself to allow the enemy to use my body to promote this spirit. And see, Solomon was not ignorant of this. No, he wasn't. And God warned him about this. Yes. He God warned him about this. Yes. How this going to look in the natural realm. Right. These women's going to turn you away Pray from me. me. Praise God. Yes. Because this body uh -huh. been available for a spirit to operate it, operate through it to seduce it. Uh-huh. I think Proverbs said it reduced man to a piece of bread. To a piece of bread. Like he's nothing. Like he's nothing. 